rub it. Mm. Oh, it's so tight and wet. You guys need anything back there? What I need is this thing on my face. I want it all the way down my throat. Uh, please, sir, we only just met and you hardly seem ready to be a father. Mm. Be careful with that, you know what happens when... <laughs> Funny thing is, this isn't even the most disgusting thing that's been in my mouth today. How did I end up with these two horny aliens? It's such a fun take on these familiar it's characters. It was almost like we're seeing them more like down to earth and out of costume. And I loved how they all kind of had this this edge to them. And I I think it, I think it, the the kind of world was really well like um, built. I like how the camera angles are realistic uh, to live action. It felt very much like a um, uh, kind of kind of like video game kind of feeling to it um and I really like how the characters are so like human because the world that it's set in is like like, like it's just this like it's such an extreme universe and it's it's it, it it's like vulgar and it's gritty and um the characters uh being being like very human and allowing the viewer to get like close to them it makes it uh it makes this world accessible and, and understandable. I, I, I loved it. Um, it, it was, it was surreal. It was really well paced. I, I could follow it completely. Um, I, I loved the soundtrack. I, I just, I loved how uh, strange it was. I know this was a pilot. I, I, I'll, I'll be looking for more of it. This is, um, I, I thought this was absolutely great. I thought this was a really strong piece. Just a great sort of mashup of a lot of our favorite pop culture uh, space faring uh, aliens. Um, really a great job with the writing. There's just a lot of subversion of expectations. Uh, you know, making uh, E.T. the sort of uh, grumbly uh, gangster type. Uh, you know, and, and yeah, really on, on all accounts, I think with, uh, with the characters, they just did a great job at, uh, putting them all together in an interesting way and in ways we certainly, uh, hadn't seen before and were primed for it right from the beginning with the disclaimer, which was a nice touch. Uh, really, I just thought it was really smartly done and definitely worth checking it out. It was really interesting to watch. I like that it, um, it melded all of these uh characters that are already in the pop culture zeitgeist um in space the spatial pop culture zeitgeist uh together and put this new narrative around them um i think the the cartoon it was more of you know like a realistic video game style but i think that worked in this piece's favor um especially with um the alien from alien like i don't think you could have well you could have made it um a 2D animation, but this wor worked much better with it. Um, if I'm being honest, when it opened up, I thought <laughs> someone had submitted Space Jam, and I was just watching a version of that. Um, but it was really, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, once I got past the fact that um, there was a horny Marvin the Martian in this space taxi. Um, I think it was really fun dialogue. Um, I wish at some points that the animation could keep up with the dialogue and the way the the tonality of which it was spoken and showing those uh, different nuanced emotions within that uh, with within the uh, animation. But that's just something that has to do with, um, you know, the the style of animation chosen. Um but overall, it, it was a really fun story. It was really clever, um, really fast moving, uh, and it, it was a lot of fun to watch. I so thought this was really, really interesting. I think that they had a lot of fun with playing on different, very classic, um, and then all the way down to like almost the cult, different science fiction fantasy characters, and. Um, situations throughout the throughout the this particular little I think it said it was a pilot um I think that for me personally I grew up watching a lot of science fiction with my dad so I really enjoyed it because it was the seeing all of these different things that I've you know kind of grown up watching and 
that there those characters and those uh moments just kind of expanded on and tweaked just a little bit um I thought was really fun um it did have a lot of just kind of like groundwork being laid down which makes sense they're introducing a lot of concepts and a lot of things in this um especially with it being on like a sci-fi slant and so you do have to kind of expand and show that you know there's more than just humans out there it's a well-established thing at least among this you know particular planet and all of those things it's a lot to kind of lay down the groundwork for but i think they did it in a really good way great character development and the animation technique is just outstanding high quality the voiceover uh, actors are just outstanding as well the animation is very detailed and they have a very exciting plot uh kind of mysterious as well and totally funny and entertaining with this different cameos from characters that might be uh, a clever pop cultural reference and some mementos so it is yeah uh yeah uh I think the pilot, this pilot episode is just outstanding. I am already hooked and I would love to keep watching this. It was absolutely engaging. I loved getting to learn more about the world um, of the planet that she was taken to and learning that they eat humans um, and, that's that, and that that's not the weirdest part of her journey. <laughs> um, the pregnancy and then birth or I should say the uh copulation and then immediate birth <laughs> was really funny and she's just sitting in the car like I don't know what to tell you um the whole thing was really funny I loved the animation it was really well done um just the people who created it are so incredibly talented and um I know that this is a pilot for something and I hope that it gets picked up and becomes a show because it's extremely extremely well done the comedy was there the adventure was there um it like hit all of the points i really enjoyed this <laughs>